Welcome, Young Jerks, Mike Crawford. Wasn't expecting to do a show this early today. Doing a show at 7 o'clock tonight. Hope people check that out on uh, the Karen Reed with Mazza Media. And hopefully a uh, resident of Canton, Canton, Massachusetts, to talk about uh, the election. That's actually, I believe, already happening with early voting. But a big election there for select board, school committee. Talking about that tonight at 7 p.m. But I had to just pop up and go live about this breaking news story. And I'm so busy, it's hard to, to wrap your hands around this story because it is very big. But we will over the next weeks, I'm sure. Some of you may already be aware of uh, what's been going on with Grant Smith Ellis and a gentleman uh, named Mar Stringer, Maurice Stringer. Uh, Mar was at a cannabis convention a year ago at the Heinz Convention Center, the New England Cannabis Convention at the Heinz Convention Center. It's a big, a big cannabis industry event. He's a small you know, small uh, entrepreneur in the cannabis space, black guy, um, someone who had been arrested for cannabis, exactly who the cannabis industry wants to embrace and and, and make legal uh, in the market. And he's had a lot of issues, like a lot of folks have, being a small entrepreneur in the industry, uh, not enough space for folks like him who are actually real legacy folks. And he had some issues with Grant Smith Ellis. And at this event last year, three gentlemen basically pursued Mar and another couple that we talked to that own a dispensary in Central Square. But with, uh, with, with Mr. Stringer, they approached him, encircled him, and a fistfight ensued between three men basically against one he held his own um grant smith ellis claimed he was a witness he wasn't really he wasn't there at the fight the only video that we saw was him outside after the you know the after the incident but he was the one who went and talked to the police the boston police and basically gave a really crazy recounting of what he said he saw and he said uh maurice had a knife and from every video that we've seen we did not see a knife um mr stringer came on our show said he when three men jumped him the only thing he had in his possession were nail clippers and he tried to defend himself with nail clippers from these three men at one point just to keep them away from him because they continue to pursue him even after the fight ended. And Grant went and told the police that he had a knife. Grant said that he was an armed black man. This guy is being charged with assault. The guy, and we played the video. We could find it today and play it again. We'll, we'll probably have him on the show again. He actually has finally really taken action on this. Uh, we're going to talk about that because we're going to help him out. I hope people raise money uh, for him because he's an uh, unjustly charged black man. He was jumped by three men. He he's a wrestler like me. He's a tough guy, and he defended himself from three men, and then he got charged for assault. Well, today, the breaking news. Now, to give you a little background, too, Grant has been supporting this group right here that's on the screen. We call it the Big Hope Project. And they've gone around and collected money from the city of Boston. They've done events with uh, politicians from Cambridge, city of Cambridge. Uh, Mayor Wu and the city of Boston gave them money. There's a picture out there of Julia Mejia handing uh, Boston City Councilor handing, handing them a big check, this group, the Big Hope Project. And they've gone around and done un expungement programs and also shaken down a lot of the dispensaries for money to do a white label program. Now, to me, the whole thing almost looked like a shakedown. It looked like 
you know what that, it's funny because i asked grant when he called into the show um in a hostile way if he was worried about rico charges with, with this group and what they were doing because i could see that this looked like a gang and i saw what they did at the new england cannabis convention to maurice to mr stringer and i've seen what grant has done to other folks black folks especially in the cannabis space if you don't go along with their their little group here then he makes up shit about you he's you know it seemed to me like these guys were looking for mr stringer because he was the most vocal in opposition to what they were doing well, today, the breaking news, Big Hope Project. Let's put it up on the screen. <clears throat> David Jean Jakes, one of the co-founders of the Big Hope Project, the group that Grant has run around the state with and promoted, was there last year when they won their award at the New England Cannabis Convention, cheering them on. He's on video talking to them after the assault of uh, Mar Stringer. Rape of a child, statutory aggravated. We heard she, my source tells me the girl was 11 years old. <clears throat> and again, these, this is my sources are, are telling me this. They're sending me this. Um, innocent until proven guilty, obviously. I reached out to David's brother, the other co-founder on LinkedIn, and I reached out to their nonprofit this afternoon. I have not heard back from them. So if it's if it's not them, I'd like to hear that. I hope, you know, I would love to hear that, that it's not them, but on my source says it, it is David, who is a co-founder of the Big Hope Project. Indecent assault and battery on a child under 14. Ammunition without an FID card, possession. <clears throat> that's a misdemeanor now he's been not only charged he's been indicted for these for these and this went down in december of, of you know this year of last year you know so what's that four or five months ago six months ago and now the indictments have come down this month in march there was an arraignment on march 20th he's going to be back in court soon <clears throat> Grant talks a lot of shit uh, accusing people of all kinds of awful things without proof. We want to know if he's going to disown this gentleman. He has made no statement about it. This is somebody, this is the group that he's been backing for a couple of years now. here he is in october 7th of 2022 i'm honored to be a big part of this legendary lineup put together by big hope project that's grant smith ellis speaking at their event that he helped organize with them in cambridge with some city councilors and I, th I think that we all should be asking Mayor Wu, Governor Healy, Mejia, Julia Mejia, the Cambridge City Councilors that, that you know, ask them, are you going to continue to work with Big Hope Project? 
This is the governor with one of the brothers, one of the two co-founders, Governor Healy. And here's Grant Smith again, September 2022. Thank you, Big Hope Project. Now, he wasn't just a friend of them or, you know, a supporter. He was, it was him in the Big Hope Project. Everybody knows it. This was his pet project. This is what he backed the most. And all these uh, politicians and dispensaries that didn't listen to the community, that didn't listen to myself, shame on you. We told you. We warned you about these folks. We warned you. We told you what was going on. I don't want to hear it from any of you that uh, people are coming at you about this because we warned you. <clears throat> Let me look at some comments right now. Like my phone's ringing too, texting. <clears throat> Is the date of the offense on the dock? And I'll have to look at that more closely. My eyes aren't so good. I got to look closely. But October 20th was when he was indicted, arraigned. He's been indicted. He's got a pretrial conference coming up. I, from my understanding, this, this whole thing started in December, the legal issues. And I, and I know that Grant has been aware of this for several months, has made no statement about it. No, they were definitely shaking down the dispensaries. And I know this for a fact, because I know dispensary owners who said no to them, who said they felt pressured. Like, if you don't do this, you know, we're going to make you look bad. <clears throat> yeah, here's Lisa. She says, Grant has known about this arrest since de December, but has said nothing. About a, about a group that he heavily backed. Yeah, and we're going to do a uh, fundraiser for, you know, Mar, definitely. Because we got good news on Mar. I don't know if he wants me to share all the news on it, but uh, <clears throat> he's got he's getting a good lawyer. We've got a good lawyer. And I think people are going to be excited when they hear about it. So we're going to help raise money for that. And actually, let's bring up that. Uh, <clears throat> let's bring it up again. Because it has dates on it. There we go. Where it crops off the bottom. One second here. Oh, here. Wait. All right. So continue by agreement to April 18th at 9 a.m. Magistrate session, courtroom 705. This is Suffolk County for a pretrial conference. He was arraigned on 3.20 at 9 a.m. So he's got a hearing coming up on April 18th. <clears throat> Will any of your connections speak on their personal experiences with the shakedown? Some of them already have. I mean, Maurice, have, you know, Mar Stringer definitely has. And, uh, you know, I plan to have him on the show again. Um, Chief and Leah, who run a dispensary, they own a dispensary in uh, Central Square, Yamba Market. They've come on and spoken about it, too. Um, you know, a lot of people are scared. Maybe they won't be scared as scared anymore. Um, these guys act like, a, you know, they're a gang. And, and the, the stuff that we're seeing on the screen with the chargers indicate that as well. These guys, from what I hear, have extensive criminal records.
So we want to know. We I got the uh, let's put this on the screen. This is great too. No wait. <clears throat> I lose it. Yeah, hold on one second. Got a bunch of questions for Grant. And I'm also asking uh, folks like Zonker. Zonker talks a lot of shit. He didn't seem to give two shits that he's been supporting this. Is Zonker okay being a pedo, pedo supporter? I guess so. I guess so. <clears throat> Haley on Twitter writes, Oh, no, Grant Smith, Ellis. I'm guessing you heard the news about your longtime associate being arrested for sex trafficking a young girl. Let me know when you're available for a written interview. I just have a few questions. Were you aware of and did you participate in it? How long have you known and been associated with the Jocks Brothers? I'd say he's been associated with them since at least 2000. I know that he approached me and you'll find one of their, you know, one of the brothers uh, had written for my website actually at one point. And they had a story written about them, Dig Boston. All of that was Grant. Everything that they've done. You know, anytime you see any association with Big Hope or Jack, you know, before they even had a Big Hope, Grant created that. So he's been associated with them as long as Big Hope's been around. He created the whole thing. Uh, why did you lie about how well you knew the Jocks brothers when speaking with the Boston police at the convention center when you repeatedly told the police that Mara Stringer would definitely be carrying a gun in order to raise the risk of him being shot? Again, Grant showing how dangerous he is. He told the police, a guy that got jumped and beat up by three guys, that he was the aggressor and that he had a, that he was armed. And if people don't believe that, I'm going to play that audio. We have We actually have that audio today, too. Were you involved with contracting uh, the Jake's brothers to assault Stringer in the first place, given that Stringer had been publicly condemning your actions in the cannabis community? See, that's a good question. And that's why I asked him, was he worried about RICO charges? Because this, this looks like a gang. So... We should all be asking Grant those questions. I'm going to disown your friend, your close associate that you backed with your reputation for a number of years. Are you going to disown him? What's your comment on all of it, Grant? You give everyone else all this shit for people that have not been charged with anything. <clears throat> exactly tom cpo says i'm triggered as you, you're here attacking me while your body grant is involved with this you're deflecting to for yourself obviously <clears throat> i mean isn't that the point too tom he does this shit all the time i can't tell you how many times he's accused me of crazy shit with no documentation or a real anything <clears throat> yeah just to confirm, the girl was 11 years old. That's correct. I mean, this is horrific. Grant going to talk about it? Here he, here's uh, Mass Bay Cannabis. This is the dude that was a legacy guy back in the day. Isn't it? He goes by Chief. He's a veteran. Black guy, wicked cool. Chief is the coolest mother F you've ever... I mean, when he comes on the show, again, I just love his voice. He's got that great voice. Um, and Chief is just such a cool dude. Like, he, this dude had a club, uh, an illegal cannabis club back in the day, and he would have the best cannabis underground back in the day. And now he has a legal store. He's totally legal, um, has a store in Central Square, Cambridge, called Yamba Market. And his quote right here, he just posted, he said, the damage that these guys have had on the local cannabis equity space is hard to measure. And there's Chief. Chief has been there also. He's a, he's a target of them too. 
<clears throat> I'm like shaking. I'm so friggin' like. Mm. Bugs the shit out of me. But these guys got away with this bullshit. And so many of us knew that they were shady. Let's put, put this on the uh, stage. Here's Grant. Well, thank you. That, that's awesome. That's good. You did a great thing. <laughs> so he, Grant did the right thing. Stitching, lying on um, Mr. Stringer. This is at the cannabis convention. Grant is now talking to the police. Um, and thanks for the information. This is this is absolutely awesome. We, this is more than we expected when we came out there. Um, would you say there's a likelihood of that they? Come? Yeah, it's more than we expected. We the, the, these are the cops not expecting anyone that's into the cannabis space is going to want to talk to the police. But they didn't. They did know that they'd have such a psychopath like Grant Smith who would eagerly walk up to the police and make up shit about someone to try to get them killed by the police, basically. I mean, this is what Grant did to this guy. And then have him charged after the fact. Grant kept going back to court to get this guy charged. He's tried to get me charged related to my reporting. He actually filed a criminal complaint against myself for reporting it, called it, you know, for witness intimidation, for my reporting of, of what he's been doing on this. Now, I guess the magistrate threw it out, but I guess my, from what I hear, my, my posts are part of, uh, a part of the case. So they could still come after me just for reporting on what, what exposing Grant because Grant's connected with the courts through his mom, mom. This is the way the system runs here in Massachusetts. I think we all learned that with, uh, Karen Reed. This is another example of it. Grant's working the system against this guy, Mar Stringer, who got jumped three on one. It's on video. We have the video. And they're still pressing charges. Back or that they find each other or anything like that? Yes, so it's Mr. Okay. Mr. Stringer. I mean, comes back, he will be on. You think so? I know so. Do you know he has access to guns at all? Sure. Okay. Well, you know he has access to... Do you hear that? Try to get him killed. If Mr. Stringer comes back, I know he will be armed. This is how he tried to get me assassinated. This is what he tells the Boston police. If you see Mr. Stringer, he is going to be armed. Why would you say that? This is cannabis. We have a, we have a cannabis disagreement. Over activism, over points of views. No, this is deeper. This is hate. This white boy hate me. Why would you tell the police that I'm going to be armed? That's a lie. I never said no shit like that, dude. Never said anything to you. He said if Mr. Stringer comes back, he's going to be armed. Delicate because I'm not, I'm not reporting anyone for any crimes. No, no. We just, yep. But the nature of the threat is heightened. And, um, you hear him? The nature, he wanted the nature of the threat to be heightened. He said, I'm not reporting anybody of a crime, but the nature of a threat is being heightened. So he said, hey, I, I don't want to report a crime, but hey, this is what happened. Is that due to like social media posts or like have you personally seen him? going to shoot you in the head. That's okay. what he was fighting for. But do you have any indication he actually has possession of firearms? Oh, okay. okay. So no, like, so... Thank you. This cop asked him, asked. Yeah, even the cop knows he's full of shit. I mean, he said about a fifth, sixth time, he asked Grant, hey, well, fire him, fire him, fire him, fire him. What, did you make sure? You sure? He said, uh, only hearsay, only hearsay. So you know, like, you know, okay. I don't know if he has registered guns or whatever like that. Okay. And I want to note that uh, Brian Berea always reminds me when it comes to grant smith ellis he wants to be a lawyer and when you're in law school one of the things that you need to do and you know is to pass the bar and part of that is character references and if people make complaints about the things that he's done with proof i think he's going to have a hard time getting through that bar so Keep your, keep your uh, documentation for when this guy tries to be a lawyer.
So we want to know, Grant Smith Ellis, are you going to disown the Big Hope Project? Are you going to continue to harass people like myself and others who call out the bullshit that Mr. Stringer was not the aggressor? He was actually assaulted by three men that you've been backing with your reporting and with your supposed witness statements. I want to know. I want to know if Big Hope Project is going to comment. I want to know if Mayor Wu is going to continue to support the Big Hope Project and do photo ops with them. Yeah, isn't that the real question? Grant, the moral, who's always about this, you know, calling everyone out for who they're friends with. He's not just friends with these people. This was his golden child. This was his whole thing. For the last three years, it was everything Big Hope Project. Look what we're doing. Why hasn't Grant already distanced himself from them? And we got to support. Yeah, here he is. He's watching. Mars Stringer is watching right now. Apparently he has a give give. Oh, look at this. I'm going to read this right now. This is the exciting news. He gets to break it right now on the show. I'm going to read his words. This is the guy that was assaulted by three men. That's facing criminal charges right now. He says, please give what you can. I have an amazing lawyer in my corner, Amy Catagone. She works out of Rosemary Scarpiccio's office. So he's got a new give, send, go, justice for Mar. I'm going to find that right now. Hopefully he can send me a message on Facebook. I want to post it so people can give. Because we need, to, we need to bang this thing out. We need to defeat this. This guy does not deserve. And we'll do a whole episode on it again uh, so people can catch up if you haven't seen it. But I know a lot of you already know about this. So that's why I just wanted to go live as soon as possible on this and just break the news and just remind people like this is we need to ask grant about this we need to ask grant to disown these guys and we need to ask, ask the politicians and the big thing is we got to support mar <clears throat> i'm just checking his facebook i want to see if he's got uh it linked yet looking for it right now one second let's just go give sun go and find it you know what I bet he's let me see one second here I'll find it. They might have sent me a message with it too. Okay, hold on a second. I'm listening to myself right now. That's not good. Mar, if you're still listening, send me a Facebook message with the link for your give, send, go. I want to post it up right now.
Cool. He just sent it. All right. Let's get this in the chat. There it is. So let's give him some support. I'm going to bring it up right now. I want to see if anyone's already given. Nothing there, folks. We need to throw some money down. I'm going to be giving a donation today. So if you can give tomorrow, I'd be greatly appreciated. And I'm definitely going to try to have him back on the show soon. All right, everyone, anyone have any questions on this? Any comments? I love when this uh, people join late. She said, just joining, no idea what's going on. <laughs> Play it back. Basically, Grant has uh, been supporting someone who has just recently got indicted for child sex crimes. And he hasn't disowned them. And it's basically the group that he's been supporting for the last couple of years. He's a witness for them in a criminal case. Uh, a bullshit criminal case against someone that was assaulted by three men. We have a video of it. It's just a whole sordid affair. So we want to know if Grant's going to continue to remain silent about his good friend that he supported for the last couple of years, who seems to have been indicted for all kinds of awful things. And we're also asking you to support uh, Mar Stringer because he's the guy that got jumped by Grant's three friends. And one of them has just been indicted. And all, all Mr. Stringer did was defend himself from th a three on one attack. And he's been charged with, with assault and battery, which is insane. 
And it's because Grant Smith Ellis, I believe, works the system. And uh, Mr. Stringer now has a great attorney. He needs money to make sure he keeps that attorney. So we need to fundraise. We need to defeat Grant in this. All right, we'll be back at 7 p.m. Looking forward to it. We're going to have a good show tonight, hopefully with uh, Mazza Media, talking about the Karen Reed court case. And hopefully a uh, resident of Kent, Massachusetts, is going to call in as well. I'll see everyone at 7 p.m.